Right, I did find a YouTube video from J.A.R., but it wasn't on the search, and I'm not finding any videos of a actual search going on, so I don't know what's happening about the search. We was told yesterday by J.A.R., that the father, Seth, was coming back out again with these other members there to continue the search. But then, a post is put up by Hold on, someone's just sent me something, let's have a look. Right, okay. Right, we don't want that. Not on my page anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'll watch it later. Right, um, so it did put out a video. Oh, I'm not trying to find the Facebook, isn't it? Right. Uh, let's look. Right. This was from Seth Rogers. And let me share this. Let me share it. This was from Seth Rogers. Uh, I posted it 34 minutes ago. It was put out 13 hours ago. I've only just seen it. Right? Right, you can see that, yeah. From Seth Rogers. Thank you for all the love and support you have given me. Fortunately, the United Cajun Navy will now be leading the search for my son, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. I need you to respectfully keep your distance and do not interfere with their search efforts, their dogs, their vehicles and their search areas. 
I do respect everyone's health. Do not cage on. You've now taken the burden off my shoulders. Please allow them the ability to complete the task professionally. Right? Now, okay. Fair enough. Cage on army is stepped in. But they're not. But then again, they are asking for help. Right? They are asking for help. Because there's another one. Hold oh, on, let me just be uh... Yeah, Oh, where was he? Where was he? <sighs> and we'll probably hear the um the recording falling and the grace with the parents was done this morning, so that will be out put out tonight. So I don't know what time, but I do know another YouTuber is on site, is there, but is not at the search site. He's at the uh, where they live. Right, and I was just watching it because I just took, caught the tail end of it, and it's true what someone said earlier in chat. Not one garden area has got one of them post them signs in their garden. Not one. Right, but I'll put that video on in a minute, and we'll see that. But there's something I wanted to show you, but I can't find it now. You see, uh, they are looking for help with flyers. So if anyone can help them with uh, printing off some flyers for them, as many as possible and as soon as possible. They are also in need of fuel for boats, 93 octane, non ethanol. Please refrain from donating any older fuel. They are also in need of larger tents, more like the event style that wouldn't get blown over because bad weather is coming. Volunteers coming to search are advised to wear snake and snake boots due to rattlesnake season currently in full swing. Also to wear rain gear and any other wear weather appropriate clothing. If you'd like to bring food and refreshments for search crews and volunteers, that would be highly appreciated and always is. You can message me directly or you can take donations to the Commander Centre in Hendersonville, Tennessee. But I don't know where the Commander Centre is. Is that at the fire station again, where they, had, where they all congregate before? Thank you for your continued support and helping in the search for Sebastian Rogers. Right. So, to be honest with you, I don't really. There's nothing coming out, and it's annoying. I can understand why the Cajun Navy are doing what they're doing. Because now, like, JLR has stepped back because of that, because of what Seth has said. So, he stepped back. Right. And uh, but now you've got other YouTubers down there. You've got Jolly, Jolly Vision. He's down there. Um, Bullhorn Betty's on about going down there sometime this week. Once she gets the car back and everything. Not, not, well, sometime Wednesday onwards, because she's got things to do before Wednesday. So sometime from Wednesday onwards, she'll be down in Tennessee. And. You've got all these other ones that are out there, other YouTubers that are out there, and TikTokers and everything out there. Right? Now, really, they could have done with all these being out there three weeks ago when the search was scaled back. You know what I mean? When that search was scaled back, this is when these YouTubers 
should have got out there, got in touch with the father and got out there and got the name out there and his picture out there, right? And then I also heard, oh God, I've got him. Oh, God. I also heard someone's mentioning about EQ search be coming in. Now, EQ search will only come in, A, if the police invite them, or say, family member get in touch with them, they then got to get in touch with the police to get permission uh, to come in. That's the only way EQSERT can come in, is if they are invited to come in by the police, by law enforcement. So, I don't know what's happening there. EQSERT would be brilliant on the rivers. I'm not saying Kaiser and Navy won't be. I'm not saying that, but the more people on them rivers, the better. So, we'll see. But I will, probably it's supposed to be going live any minute now, apparently, from what you may go. Schedule for 6 p.m. My time or one day. I'm sure it won't be their time. Probably would be. <laughs> no, not my look. 6 p.m. is like 6 and then 11 p.m. My time. So I don't know. And I'm definitely not going to be online till 11 o'clock tonight. No way. No way. I need some rest. So, what do you all think? Oh, yeah, I've got some comments up here. DP Bear, good to see you back. Yeah, everyone there but Chris and Kate. Oh, no, they, they've, they've left Dodge City. They've left. I did, I did, did you see mum and dad pull up on JLR? No. When did they pull up on JLR? No, is it on video? Did you be on JLR's video? On JLR's, yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see what's it. <laughs> no, no, nothing there. Oh, God. Let's see if I've got anything here. Uh -huh. uh, I can't find it. I am going through every link of JL. JL. Uh, uh, Sebastian Roger. <laughs> so much pull. Um, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> this is quite funny. Right? It's on the fine Sebastian Rogers case discussion. Right? And it's by an anonymous participant. Why is Christopher Proudfoot running from Nick Ferris and JLR investigative interviews? He will not do an interview with them. I can't find anything. I know I've got JLR on my page. And it's... Oh, um, 
Ich denke, ich mache rein. Uh, uh, Ruby, I've got him on my page, so why is he showing your results? I know I've got him on my page, but I've got like 146 people on my page. Facebook page. I'm not going through every one of them. If someone can send me the link, is that you? you just had it. I've just had you. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Tippy Bears. You're on my Facebook page. Mysterious disappearance of Sebastian. All right. <laughs> Right, so, um, could you find the link for me and just message it me through Messenger on Facebook? I can pull it up there. But I'm going through everything. And it's, okay, thank you. But I have, as I said, the art one, like, is set for upcoming at 6 p.m. Right, that's set for upcoming. And I've got no tick notifications on. But that could be 6 p.m. their time. And 6 p.m. their time is 6, 10, 6 and 5 is 11. That's 11 p.m. my time. But I'm sorry, folks, I'm in bed by then. So if anything, I'll probably show it tomorrow. So... I don't know. Oh god, well, I'm trying to find. Uh, let's pull up that one. He did do one earlier. What's that jolly vision? Yeah? Jolly vision YouTube. Right, he did this one earlier. Okay, thank you. I'll go and check it now. Thank you, DP. I'm just, I'm just, I have to, yeah, every place. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> So that was another YouTube girl. So there's some YouTube people out here. Uh, um, she says she's a travel agent and gave me her number for hotel rooms. Okay. So we're going to take a ride over to the, uh, she said she's going north 
the search north. Okay, so we're going to go back here in search for a few minutes. Okay. You're telling me you okay. All right, let me switch my camera around so y'all can kind of go with us and look at the neighborhood. Uh, um, um, let's see, settings. I don't think it knows. Camera. I think I'd be able to fight the fight. Why? Okay. So now y'all should get a little bit. Now, like I said, this house we're coming up on is his house. I'll pull up to it when we get there. Now, this is the house they say he went missing from. Not this house. Not this house. Down here, coming up. Keep now, going. you see, Keep going. it has the two garage doors. There right? you go. It has that side door that they were talking about. Yeah. There's the front door that they believe he went out of. Okay. There's that. Now, oh, this lady's following me. She pulled right out behind me when I did that. What's with these weird ass internet? Well, hold on. I mean, these weird ass neighbors. Because they might do that shit to JLR, but they're going to do that shit to me because I'll stop and tell you, hey, bitch, stop following me. And they're feminine. Okay? So okay, well, I'll stop and film them. They want to play this film game. We'll film each other. And I followed the class. I got out the car, too. Oh, well. As soon as they bust this corner with me, I'm stopping and getting out. We need to show that. We need to show you. Yep, it came right up behind me. Well, I'm gonna do that large in a minute. I'm gonna show you that large in a minute. He's only got a large in a minute. He wasn't kind of safe, so. Oh, they kept going yeah. that time. That's right, they better. He does need to show it though. Okay, this is where the construction's taking place. Name and shame. Name and shame. I don't know if that's ringing or what. Is that my other phone? <laughs> Hold on, guys. Who's calling me? Do not call me. Do not call me. If you're going to call me, PJ, call me on the other phone. Hold on. Let me get my other phone out. <laughs> I couldn't cope with having two phones. I really couldn't. Didn't you? Look, they drove right back by. Look, they turned around and came back. They're not having a second. What's him that just drove behind me? I'm always losing this phone. Okay. These people want to play weird games. I'll just, they, they pull on me and try to say something to them. What's happening? You start following back around. I've been going to message my son. My Where's my phone on? Or off here. Like when you phone my phone, then it rings, so then I can find it. Oh, someone's trying to get in touch with you. Okay. I must admit. Okay. I'm gonna stop this because Hello. Okay, what is it? Oh uh, come on. come come and stepdad. Right. I am going to pull those pictures up. Okay. Hi Tuesday. I'm gonna post Pull those pictures up that you've sent me. Right? Edit tab. 
I don't care. It's my page. This is the mom. Did you say of um, Chris? The, no, yeah, that's Chris's mom. She don't look too happy there. Oh, what a shame. Right? And then you've got this one here. Chris's mum and dad, they followed JRR, JLR and got out the car to him. He recorded it, but don't think he's, he's showing it, though. He said before on his live, he did, he did say that they were following other people in their cars. Right? Look. JLR is just doing what all these other YouTubers are now doing. But... He's staying away from their home. He's been round that way. So he's not going to go back round by the house. He's doing that video. But you've got all these other YouTubers now turning up who are going around the home. Going round by the house. And that's probably why perhaps the, the, uh, the those agents or whatever that went to their home the other day was to say, look, you need to get out of this area. There's going to be an influx of people coming and going, or we're getting complaints about this and that. We need you to move out the area. You know what I mean? And that's why they packed up and moved out the area. Because they are being, they're being handy. Well, they will be now because the YouTube, YouTube police are on to them. <laughs> but, um, Oh God, what am I doing? Well, I've got to go off this. I want to find... I don't like this slide. I like him, but he kind of annoys me, if you get what I mean. <laughs> well, what I'm bothered about now, will people think, well, let's find where, out where the mother more than stepfather gone. It's taking away the um if that happens then it's taking away the uh the interest like of Sebastian. I say leave them parents alone. Leave them alone. Karma will come their way one very soon. Very soon karma will come their way. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, we've got two here. Right, so we're going to watch them both. Come on, mate. JLR investigates. JLR investigates. Hello. Play up on the internet. This is. We're getting some bad weather here, and it's. It's interacting with the internet. Hello, everyone. Reporting from Hendersonville, Tennessee area. I caught the end of it. I caught the end of it, so that's why I thought I'd show it now, because I just caught the end of it. But that's me. I've cut the end of everything. But... I said to God, if I keep getting kicked off again today off StreamYard, I'm going to flip up my lid. In my earlier life, I think I got kicked off about four times. StreamYard just playing. BJ's. 
DJs close to the Proudfoots. Let's talk about missing 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers. And uh, been in the area, as some of you might or might not know, you've been following this case. We've been live streaming and bringing awareness to Sebastian. Doing I can to help this innocent child. I am in front of BJ's. Most of you know a lot about this. He got some information about this here. And these, uh, we heard from Katie Proudfoot, the mother, uh, specifically that she was at Jace the day before the 25th. Sebastian was reported missing on uh, the 26th by his mom. I think around 639 in the morning she claims the afternoon of the 25th that her and Ashley came here and I confirm that it has been here they've been here and at least I don't know if they got surveillance talk to Sever or uh, talk to the management here or anything like that but they did follow up on every step that Katie Proudfoot and Sebastian made the day before they're, they're, they're following so Katie said was actually the truth they were here the day before so that is my understanding that is the truth that sebastian and katie were here however you know once they left here then they proceeded to go to multiple other locations right they went home and then they went back out to a bowling alley which i'm going to take you to the bowling alley in a little bit and then went out to eat now there's some conflicting information about where exactly went out to eat because it didn't come out of katie's mouth but i'm hearing it was texas roadhouse but some people are saying Red Robin. So a lot of conflicting about what exactly the location is in reference to that. And then basically she said that they arrived home and Sebastian took the trash out down the uh, down the end of the driveway. And then, uh, he, you know, she told him to go to bed, heard a noise in his room at 10 o'clock. And then uh, she eventually went to sleep, I guess, around midnight. And then uh, the morning he was gone. Now, I want to give you some new information. I just want to show you the area, by the way. Let me spin the camera around. I am out in the field here, and I can share some other information, what I've been uh, looking into, and also what we can talk about in reference to this case. I don't know if you're familiar with this, BJ's. I'll tell you exactly where I am. I'm going to get it on the map. I'm going to get it on the map here so we can, I can show you the exact location that I'm at. It's right here. It's by the Rivergate Mall. It's by the Rivergate Mall. This is my exact location right here. Right here for some in case you want to know which DJs. Kate says that her and Sebastian were unclear if the cousin, uh, remember they picked up the niece, unclear if she was here too with them. I didn't really get information about that. All I know is authorities were here doing their due diligence. Uh, you got to have faith and trust in the law enforcement. Still working around the clock to get answers about this case um as far as today i just came from rockland recreation center and i can say there is no one there at all searching there isn't any dogs there there's no the gate is a phone number if you come to rock at the front of in number there i called called the office but what's going on if there's anything going on that nothing no searches have been done today no yeah, even her spring, but dogs were supposed to go there or anything today. They said nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. The gate was closed. I'll post pictures. We actually posted pictures in the uh, Facebook group that we run. Uh, find Sebastian Facebook that runs. So post the pictures there. There's nothing on at Rockland. As far as right now, I don't see any searches going on. An incident that we have, I'm with uh, someone else. We uh we were at the foot. We were searching it around, you know, structure neighborhood and whatnot. And there was a mysterious. We we're driving past the Proudfoots, and there was a mysterious car uh that went in, and it was like a a gray SUV. It was a and they they looked and they jumped into the circus. I passed and then this car. This car in the driveway really chased our neighbor and was taken pick behind me. 
and then jumped out of the car and said, so my license plate. Got out to see what's up. And I got out and I, I filmed this. I got the whole encounter filmed and uh, asked them what's up, you know, uh, I'm, you know, because they had a picture of Sebastian on the back of the car. Now, us, but I'm just sharing the story. And I, I got out and I was like, How are you? I'm covering um, my name's Daryl R. Investigates. I want to talk anything going on. And this dude that came out just was staring at me. Of course, well, I did stuff on my Twitter about that picture. So check it on Twitter at JLR Investigates. And it ended up being Chris Proudfoot's mom and dad that they were there. So we immediately called the TBI. We reported this to the TBI. I've been communicating also with the uh, Sumner County Sheriff's Office that going to be in the area to cover the case just to, because we always do that on JLR investigates whenever we go to like different scenes and whatnot we kind of give law enforcement a heads up and let law enforcement know here in the area we're covering this case we're bringing an awareness so the Sumner County Sheriff's new new this weather looks all to pay off because it's getting my head getting with my internet we were in the area we let tbi know and tbi actually took a report they actually wanted the pictures and they, they they took the report which i find is interesting because a lot of times people call tbi with tips and whatnot and they don't really you know they just take it and whatever but they were actually interested in this and the reason being is because the reports lady down here where your letter it's interesting because the the question is we know profits have uh carol thank you for support uh, we know the cow oh god's sake profits have bounced they left right they're gone and they're coming out with a sad segment fancy great uh tight and we're all watching popcorn ready want to hear what they have to say I'm waiting for them to actually. Uh, but apparently, not, with what they're going to say on Nancy Grace, kind of some information got like leaked. They're going to explain about the. Um, this inking I did, I did. Picture of them eating barbecue. They're going No, I can't debate that. I want to explain why they left town, and which will be interesting. And I'm harassing them and painting them and doing whatnot. But as a lot of you have been following this case, and I know a lot of you have, we just seen the behaviors. Of what transpired all the way up to where we're at now and you know you guys have your own opinions and everything like that it's it, it, it's wild but as far as whoever was you know we've heard at the time where people are saying well katie's not gonna leave the house she's not gonna uh she's waiting for some to come well if that's the case could leave the house and the house is completely empty they uh, while the search was going on, they were uh, packing up the feet and they left to God the victims, ladies and gentlemen, that were around their neighborhood at night. So, you know, I don't know what that's about in the early time. I'm sorry, in the daytime. They were gone by night and they haven't been back since. You know, nice but my question is, what is Proudfoot? Bower side people were that kind of chased me down. What, what, are, what are they doing there? Like, you know, because we do have they don't they have dogs and I'm feeding the dogs, or maybe Chris instruct maybe Chris is actually instructing them on uh what to do, or because there's we posted the pictures in our Facebook group, and there's all people that are now. Same vehicle has been stalking and harassing them down. 
that are out there looking for Sebastian. So is 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 Chris and the Bauer Sox side or the Proudfoot side of the family trying to thwart people from searching for Sebastian or spying on people or you know looking to see what everyone's up to so they can report it back to Chris? I just thought it was interesting because or weird. It was just a weird encounter. It was so we report report them to the team. Oh, team I get phone records down the line and who knows what not or maybe it's nothing of nothing you know we might be saying this as, uh, as if the profits are not suspects in the tbi sure right maybe they feel like the profits are fully cooperating and they have oh this is so annoying i'm sorry about this everyone Oh, it may be nothing, you know what I mean, like he said, but it's weird that other people have said they've seen that car. But it's like that guy in the pit. There's a guy, a big guy, and he looks like Chris. I won't post it on here because it may not, it could be his brother, it may not be, so I'm not going to post it on here unless I'm going to sure it's his brother. Saying, I'm not going to post it. Some people have posted it on their sites and on their pages. I won't. Not unless I get definite proof that this guy in this picture, in this car, is his brother. So let's see if I can sort this out because this is annoying. Nothing to do with this. But it's just the whole series and situation with this whole case from the, the get get. So, to me, has serious red flags. I know you're waving red flags. Come on. Also, folks, we received Come on. God's sake. a really, really big, credible tip. And I, I'm not going to, I all I'm going to say. So no, you made it At this point is, we've communicated with Sumner County Sheriff's Office. They've acknowledged what we gave them, and we will we'll go see. We're going to go see in a little bit, a little bit about this location and this tip. If my internet ever gets working properly, yes, we might get to see this that we uh, got. Because to me, it's probably the biggest covering with, with us covering this I swear to god i think the uk needs to sort their internet companies out it's probably the biggest most logical tip thus far and you know it could be nothing of nothing we should come and get my, my mods telling me i should come and get my wind let me go over here under the thing can you say that wind Fire is something. pretty loud Pretty like that wind. Got a fire truck. I'm gonna go over here by the building. It's a little windy out here, a little cool. It's uh temperature is I don't know, it feels like 50. Feels like 50. This is where I came into it when I first watched it here. Well, I'm gonna go check this tip out, folks. Um, um in a little bit to see what's going on. Um, as far as any other searches, I'm not familiar with any other searches. Um, you know, I know what's going what on. I know the father of, I'll be searching big T out. So they're reaching out. Of Seth has said that, uh, he's going to, the Cajun Navy is supposed to take over the searches. Um, you know, I have my. I hope the Cajun Navy are doing their searches and they're doing it properly for the father's sake. You know what I mean? He's put four weeks into this. You don't want someone just to come in and search for a couple of days. So that's it. We'll do My opinions about that, but I'm respecting what Seth does because I actually got to know Seth as a person. And we're talking about Seth Rogers and, uh, you know, I feel his pain and I feel I like the guy and I want this guy to get answers. And I'm sure all of you do, too. And it's 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 so sad. But, you know, I don't know if they're supposed to be doing some sort of new searches or whatnot. 
Um, I can tell you, I can tell you that LE is not interested. Law enforcement is not interested in anything at Rockland Recreation Center. I, 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 with me, if there's anything going on at Rockland, maybe I'll come cover it, but I'm not participating in I heard a few weeks ago that uh, YouTube had that program, um, Crimming Attic or something, I think their name is. And they drove around the construction site where the new houses are all being built. And you could see these big, you know, the skips, the big skips they used. Right? Well, you know when they did that search on the landfill, right? That is where the skips are took and emptied at, in Kentucky. The bins from the household rubbish is uh, took s somewhere closer. So when they said it was due to um, they were searching the bins because they hadn't been searched in the first place, means that when they went on that search and they searched the land uh that construction site they obviously didn't search their bins them big tips them big skips they didn't search them because that is where they take them skips to is that landfill where they're searching right it had nothing to do with their normal everyday refuge bins so that story that come out about they were looking there because the men the the men coming empty the bins on the monday morning felt that their bins felt a little bit heavier than usual that might be true but that isn't why they were searching at kentucky they were searching because that is where the skips those big skips on the uh, construction site I took to be emptied. Not like they were took there for the everyday use of domestic rubbish. And I think he tells you this here. In in a sense, because it's to I don't think I don't think Sebastian's at rock rock uh rock. I'll just say it like that. I don't think he's there. Law enforcement doesn't believe he's there. Law enforcement didn't even go out there and check uh, when this dog hit the spot. Didn't even go. They didn't even go. They never even went. Uh, a Hendersonville Police Department officer went in front of the gate and was just, you know, blocking people off from coming in because the gate was closed because they got hurricane damage there. But they didn't go in there. The Summer County Sheriff's were TBI. They never even went in, in that place. So to me, they're not interested. Plus, I got other information that shows me that they're not looking even at that angle. To me, the mystery when it comes to this particular case, the mystery is the construction neighborhood, the neighborhood, the neighborhood yeah. behind the profits. That to me is like the mystery here because I can say that it was right. The profits have their neighborhood. The next neighborhood over where the supposed scent went to, right? The scent went to, that's a separate neighborhood. What I can tell you, and I, I verified this, was the trash in the Proudfoot's neighborhood. So if they take their trash down the street or any neighbor there takes their trash to the seat, it doesn't go to that landfill transfer station in Kentucky. It actually goes to Gallatin. Gallatin, is that the town we're looking at? Gallatin in Sumner County. But the next neighborhood over where they're doing construction there, all the trash from that neighborhood goes to that landfill in Kentucky, which is very interesting, right? Because I know nothing about any warrants or anything going on with that, with, you know, with that landfill in Tennessee in the Proudfoot's neighborhood, but they were going to that landfill in Kentucky. So makes me think, what about those lights? Even though we're hearing that's not not related, right? What about those lights? 
I think there's some truth to that. those lights. I don't know if we know the full picture. I don't know oh, uh, when Nick Ferris was able to attain that, those, those things. I do think that timing around those lights are, are really crucial here, and I think it, it, there, there is some legitimacy to that. Um, we don't know the full picture, but you know, Chris confirmed off his own mouth, Chris Proudfoot, that there was a sent to the dumpsters, how a dumpster, and however, you know, it could be false or whatever like that, but he confirmed that there was a scent there. It doesn't mean that there was actually an actual scent, but the fact that he even said that and they went to that landfill makes me think they were in that, you know, they think something transpired in that, you know, construction area, which is the cul-de-sac. So it makes me, it makes me come up with two logical conclusions in this, in my own looking around and trying to figure this out. Uh, was Sebastian brought over there to the construction site, the cul-de-sac, and either put in a dumpster or put in a vehicle or put in a vehicle there? Was there an awaiting vehicle there waiting for him there? Because that's the only two things I got. Then you get into alibis and where people closest to him were really at. Uh, and I'm, I, I've always said Chris Proudfoot and Katie Proudfoot, prime suspects one and two. Where was Chris Proudfoot? Now, the credible information that we got that we tr gave to authorities, I could just say it's a location between here and Memphis. And it's definitely valid and it definitely jives in with the same time. It, it's definitely in there. So, you know, I'm going to go check it out. And I'm going to go see what's going on and, and, and look around and kind of see, you know, kind of maybe give us an idea of what authorities are up to. I really think, you know, I was I was shocked that this morning there wasn't warrants. Well, I think they're coming. I really, really think they're coming. And I'm interested to see what the Proudfoots have to say on Nancy Grace. So uh, we'll analyze that. We'll review that later. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty quiet. It's like business as usual here. I don't see anything going on. I uh Kudos to all the searchers out there yesterday, all the volunteers. Um, that same group has said that they're uh, going to start handing out uh, flyers in the area and printing up flyers and stuff like that. So I am willing to go help that and do that with, with that particular groups, those groups that are handing out flyers. So if anyone's part of that group and needs some help with flyers, I will help and assist with that, with the flyers. Uh, other than that, JLR is still out in the field. Where is Sebastian? Pressure is on. Why are there people at the Proudfoots? Where are the Proudfoots? Where's Sebastian? Right? Where are they? Where's Sebastian? Out and about. Another thing is, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I might have said this on my leg last segment, but when I stayed in this area, stay at the Quality Inn, not staying there anymore. But when I went in there, man, <laughs> the the clerk automatically thought that the, the stepdad and the uh, mom had something to do with this and said they better come clean. They need to come clean. Then I went and got some food at McDonald's and the same thing. <laughs> the, the person there, because I got media, so people people are always always where I'm more media going to think of like your media who you with who you come and whatnot you know i said oh yeah uh riley and uh, sebastian rogers are like oh yeah 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 oh those parents know something they better come clean most people around here have their opinions already of guilt it's very it's very rare that we get anyone that feels like um at this point are giving the parents any and we're talking about katie and christopher prophet any benefit of the doubt at this point i mean they haven't given us any reason to believe they're innocent have they have you shown anything or seen any signs that these people are innocent anyway have you have you seen any clue or any i mean you know we're we can understand their body language and behavior but their actions their actions to me smells guilt the secrecy the the the, the quietness it it all points in my mind to them but you know you can have your opinions but i think we're all on the same page here and we are definitely trying to get truth and understanding. We care for Sebastian. We care for answers. We're not going away either. We're not going any away either. I am boots on the ground. JLR investigate DJ. So, yeah, she was uh, 
she and he was here. They were here. They were here at BJ's, folks. Just so you know, I did get that confirmation. So we'll be going around a new location, sub to the channel, like hit the notification button. And uh, if something breaks, you know, if there's an arrest or something's going on where there's conducting a warrant or some sort of break in the case, I'll race to the scene. You know, we do that boot down right here. So, all right, everyone, I'm signing off. Let me know. Right. So, from what he's saying and from what they said, they said they pulled back the searches, the, the, their own voluntary searches. And they're letting the Cajun Navy deal with it. And I did, I did have a post earlier. I've seen it. I don't know if I've seen it on Twitter, X, or on Facebook. But there, there is a link. I'm sure I put it on my Facebook page. Right, I'm sure I did. Right. Oh, God. I can't find it, so I don't. Oh, God, I hate it when it does that. Um, so there is no search going on like a private like, uh, where volunteers have come forward. But then again, it is Monday, perhaps on Saturday and Sunday. Seth, if he's not working, might say, well, we'll do a search here. You know what I mean? Because he needs to get some rest. He needs, before he can go back to work, he needs to work properly. He needs to get some rest as well. So my heart goes out to that guy, it really does. For four weeks now, Dolly is searched for his son. And where has the mother been? Oh, she was told to stay at home. Isn't it funny how I said it the other day, last night in my life. The case of those two boys that went missing, or um, or you know, something like that, I can't remember the name. And the parents who adopted them were told, they said, this is what they said, we were told by the police to stay in the house. Hmm. Why? What's that? I've got up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Ah, oh, I can close that. Close that window. I don't need that window. But, right, I'm going to take you to the next one he did. And it's only about 20 minutes long. And I think, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the... Um, one where it, they went bowling. You know, when the mother said they went bowling. This is where it was. So, we'll, we'll see what he has to say about this, shall we? But I just don't want all the attention took off Sebastian and put onto those parents, onto the mother and stepfather. I don't. I want the attention kept on this lag. So after this live, unless anything comes up tonight. I won't be going live again after when I finish this live. I will not be going live again tonight. Um, I'm just waiting for this to come on because my internet is playing up, but we're having some not that bad to weather. But bad weather. I can confirm that authorities were in here talking to 
See what I mean? I'm on internet playing up constantly. It's doing my head in. Management. He didn't want to talk on record. I get it. I get it because there's an active investigation going on and a lot of people are reluctant to speak, right? But we're talking about the steps of transpired head up to Sebastian going home, but did Sebastian really go home? The chain of events according to Katie, according to Katie Proudfoot, ladies and gentlemen, that she was here. Bowling. Not here, but bowling. But the day before he went missing, um, we got up and, in fact, I made breakfast that morning. <laughs> um, we had a good time. We were laughing and we were joking. Uh, he took family on the phone. We went and uh, our niece, uh, yeah, I got a call and um, asked if I could go and pick her up, and I did. And so um, we went to that, we went to BJ's. Um, and there he had a colossal popcorn. Katie Prowf. All right. I'm going to go back to where he shows you that interview on his phone, right? I've gone back a bit too far, but I'm going to go forward a little bit until he gets to that interview. What's the mother when she goes to talk about the niece? Watch her hand and watch her face. Right, so we'll just get back up there again. No. Oh. In fact, I made breakfast that morning. <laughs> um, we had a good time. We were laughing. We were joking. Um, he talked to family on the phone during breakfast to brag. Um, Uh -huh. We went and picked up our niece. Uh, yeah, I got a call and um, asked if I could go and pick her up, and I did. And That's so um, right. we went to that. We went to BJ's. Uh, had, came home, put groceries away because we bought snacks because you know he's fifteen. Snacks. Uh, we went to the bowling alley, and then from there we went to. She said the bowling alley. Lucky like the bowling alley, folks. This strike and spare in Hendersonville, and authorities were here. Now, whether they have surveillance or whatnot, because the question is. This point, because after that conversation, he says, then they went to eat. Why I know that location, they went out to eat. I believe Texas Roadhouse, my sources have told me, and we're going to go look into that matter. But as far as here, this location here, now I was in there earlier, but again, they don't want to talk on record. I get it. And a lot of businesses never really do that. We respect that, right? We don't do, we don't do like the secret recordings and whatnot. You know, we only talk if if they want to talk um they were here authorities did some transpire here is that something happened inside this location that maybe triggered something that led to sebastian being missing a lot of people said hey i want to see the bowling alley area and i want to show you the area now did something transpire interactions here anything did Sebastian eat anything here was he giving medications here uh, anything, anything to deal with this location here. I'm wondering, but this is it. This is it, folks. 
strike and spare. How are we looking at reception? Are we good on reception? A little bit of you are well, on that. Now, let's take you around the location and kind of just you. It's like a fun park in there. So a Conway's Bar Grill in there. JLR investigates. So really, this isn't much really, this video, it's just talking about the bowling alley, right? So, it's just going over everywhere she said she'd be, right? Now I'm sure the police have done that. I mean, know for a fact that she was at this one place because they've got a camera, they see her in there. They've got her on camera. Now, I know some bowling alleys in the UK. They have, ca you know where you keep your score, the screen where you can put your score up, yeah? They have a camera. So your face is on the camera, on that. So do they have that sort of technology in that bowling alley? I don't know. Christ's sake, in some stores, some grocery stores here in the UK, you go to the South Scans, right? scan it yourself which i prefer because i'm not waiting in long queues for people to just chitty chat at the till and you get you go to your scanner to scan your food and your picture as soon as you start it hit that button to start your picture comes up they're filming you right and so i'm wondering and i know they there were some bowling alleys in the UK that have that system at the screens, which you put your scores in or whatever you do, yeah, which then comes up on the board, up on the big screen at the top. And um, so I'm wondering if, that, if they had that technology there. I'd like to think they did. But somewhere in there, if there was in there, if there would be cameras. There's cameras everywhere you go nowadays. You can't go to can't go to the flipping toilet half the time without a flipping camera. You know what I mean? So I don't know, it's just odd. I'm glad the Cajun Army have stepped in and, and Steph feels reassured where he feels he doesn't have to go out searching. I'm glad he's got that sort of reassurance where he feels he can stay at home, get some rest, and maybe go back to work. I don't know. And maybe on his days off, if need be, go out somewhere away from where they're searching. To some other place, you know what I mean? But I think they need to start back where he lived. They need to go back to there. Because I was on the understanding as well that while the police was doing the search of the uh, construction site, yeah, work was still going on. They didn't stop at work. The work was still going on. And if that is correct, that they went to Kentucky because of the skiffs there in that construction site were emptied there, then they're at fault because they didn't check the skip, them skips before. Those skips should have been checked. Like it was probably missing on the 26th, which is a month, a month tomorrow, right? Uh, they should have been checked by the time they got out there. They could have been checked on the night time. They could have been checked that day. But there wasn't. Their house been had all been empty. So why haven't they gone to a warrant got a warrant to go to the 
uh, Lanka where the everyday household goods rubbish is got rid of. That to me don't make sense either if they haven't done that. But this is a month thing now. Would they be able to find anything? Because they did. It was a week ago when they did the first landfill search. <coughs> so, <coughs> I've got the juice. No, I've got some coffee. Right, so it, it, it's weird that this is the, the occasion. Well, it's not weird. As I said, I can understand why they're not telling us where they're searching. Right, because they don't want YouTubers there and TikTokers and all that lot. They don't. If you're going out on a search with Seth separate to the Cajun Army Navy, then fair enough. Take your phones with you, take your cameras, whatever. Seth don't mind that. He likes that. He likes it because it gets the word out. But Cajun Army aren't having that. They won't have that. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But at the moment, I'm not getting anything on YouTube. Right. JLR hasn't put anything up. I'm just going to wait now for that Nancy one. All right. I want to see that Nancy. I might actually put it live on my. Once it goes, I might actually put it on my Facebook page, share it straight away and watch it from my Facebook. So we'll see what happens there. I don't think I'll do a live for that. I might talk about it tomorrow <laughs> because she's going to rip him to be. He tries being the narcissistic, controlling, I'm black and white sort of person. She's gonna not be too lumpy. She out of it. She's gonna go for it. But I'm wondering, and some have even said, I wonder if they'll turn up. Oh, they'll turn up. Tell you what, it's a woman. It's a woman. If it was a man, they wouldn't be doing the interviews, right? They wouldn't be doing this interview if it was a man. Who was it? Uh, Nick Perez and JLR. He will not do it. They will not do an interview with them. And I'm sure if Greeny Poulton or Poulton got in touch with them to do an interview, they'd say no. They'd say no to him as well. But the other day, there was a, one of the women who was on the search was a moderator for, um, uh, what channel was it? One of these news channels. She's a moderator on the YouTube channel. So she'll go back and tell them everything that's been going on. All right? So it's just weird, but as I said, I don't know why that opened up on me, but there is nothing, and I mean nothing going on, nothing at all. Come on. Dolly's going to be on again later, about 11 o'clock my time, but I'll probably be in bed then. So. I'll just talk about it tomorrow. Because I'm not going to stay up doing a live at 11 o'clock at night. So, but it is true. When you, take, when you see these YouTubers driving around the area, someone in the chat earlier said, you, even though they've got these signposts for Sebastian, yeah? That apparently the mother made not one signpost in the gardens, not even in their own garden. Not even in their own garden is there one of them 
little signposts. Don't they care about finding him? There's more people out here on the YouTube, all the people, all these channels who are now covering this. And there's flat hundred, quite a few channels now, and they've all got thousands and thousands. I'm only very I'm only a pebble in the ocean at the moment. Just that little pebble. Right? But you got people out there with thousands of subscribers and they all talk. So they've got like 500, 600, 800 people watching them. These people are watching because they care about Sebastian. They care about Sebastian. And I'll tell you now, I said earlier uh, when MG said, uh, this is a no drama channel. I will not have drama in my, on my channel. I won't. If anyone come in my chat, starting drama right say one well, let's say there's someone in my chat there's say there's several people in my chat and one of them doesn't like another if you don't like someone in my chat what's your problem you don't have to see them you you know what i mean it's not like you live next door to them just put your comment in what you want to say about what you see and don't cause drama in my chat. Don't cause drama on my lives. I won't have it. I'd rather have ten. I'd rather have ten subscribers than have nine hundred or more, and they're all being bringing the drama with them. If you know what I mean, I don't want that. So anyway, this was just a quick one because, as like I said, there is nothing I will show you. Nothing. There's only, and as I said, I did see some of his today, and he's just walking up and down the road and driving around into the. He's not actually doing a search. I don't know what he'll be doing later tonight when he comes on again. But I'm waiting for that Nancy Grace show. So please, if you haven't subscribed, right? I'm going to do it. You know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do. And I can get it up. If you haven't done it already, oh God save this does my head in. Please subscribe, hit the like, hit that bell for all notifications, comment, and mostly share. But please give me a like, it does help. Right? So, as I said, there's nothing here. I waited all morning for JLR to come on. To find out there was no search going on today, even though they said they was going to do one. But obviously overnight, the, step, the father has been talking to his Asian Navy, right, and handed it over to them, right, to do. Because he needs to rest. It's too much. He needs the rest. He needs to, he needs to rest from all of this stupid drama going on around Sebastian. All of it. It needs to stop. And we all need to focus on Sebastian. Not what the mother do, what not what the stepfather. They don't help themselves. They're not helping themselves by doing these lives. You know what I mean? Because I can guarantee you, people are going to be zoomed in on that uh, video tonight of Nancy Grace. And then tomorrow, or even later tonight, because I'll be in bed, but others won't be. So tomorrow, let, I'll have all these YouTubers on there tomorrow. Uh, we'll be going over that video. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't go up to 11, 12 o'clock to go live. That's my bedtime. I'm not, I haven't been getting to bed till like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes. And then because of my meditation, I'm not getting up till about 11 in the morning. That's the day gone. That's literally a day gone. And it's knocking my time, my sleep timetable about. So I've got to get back onto my sleep timetable again. Going back to bed at 10 o'clock and waking up about 9. 
Because even with my meditation, I still, if I go to bed at 10, I don't get up till about 9, 10. There are some mornings that I've got up and I'm wide awake at like 7, 8. But then about 10 o'clock, I'm feeling all drowsy again. Because I've still, that, medita me that meditation I'm on, still in my system. It hasn't worn off. So if I wake up about 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm up, I'm out. I'm out and about doing what I've got to do around my house. But any time before 10 a.m., it's like, forget it. You'll not get anything out of me. All you'll get out of me is, if, I, if anyone was staying with me, all they would get out of me before 10 o'clock in the morning is, where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? Or, I want a coffee, I'm going to do a coffee. That is me in the morning. You don't get nothing out of me for two hours until I get at least two cups of coffee. Anyway, like I said, if you haven't already, please do me a big favour. Hit that like button. Hit the bell. Subscribe, comment and share. And thank you all again for being here. Thank you all. And thank you for that information. Diffy Bird, thank you for that. And like I said, if it's early enough, I will do the live, I'll share the live, the video to Facebook. And I'm going to watch it from there then. So then people can come and join me on my Facebook page. And put comments on the Facebook page, okay? So I'll be watching it from Facebook. I'll share it to my Facebook. Well, I'll share everything to my Facebook. That way I know where everything is. And I haven't got to keep looking at through YouTube for different YouTubers. If it's on my Facebook, I'll find it. So thank you again, Diffie Bird, for that. And thank you for everyone being here today again with me. And I'll see you all. Unless something really happens, some drastic news, such as someone's been getting their Pandora bracelets put on, or they do find something, I will not be back on again tonight. Okay, so thank you for everyone being here. Hope you have a rest of a lovely day. Because it's now 10 past 7 my time. So it's afternoon time wherever you are. Or even in some cases, still morning. So thank you for being here. Bye. Thank you.